just before we start this video i'm going to put up Colleen's apology to this issue right here but i also just wanted to say before we get onto the video and i will mention it multiple times throughout this video please do not send her hate be nice this is for conversation and for fun vibes this one is a doozy so a little while back when i was looking through some of the comments that i got on the previous videos i saw someone mention a Kuleen controversy and i'm not going to lie this is the first time i've ever heard of Kuleen because i've never watched her before this creator and i didn't know of what controversy they were talking about so i did a little bit of research into it so i tried being objective going into this research and i was debating whether like making the video at all because i don't know her and i didn't want this to be another hate video for another creator on this platform this is not a hate video i do not know colleen that well at all so i'm only going to focus on this specific matter so in this video i'm going to be discussing the colleen controversy with that clip of her liquefying the woman of color and also calling the previous head shape gorilla looking mm. but also just like expanding the conversation but before we get on to this video make sure you like subscribe turn on my post notifications so you're notified when next i upload a video i usually upload videos either in the beginning or the end of the week so you want to make sure that my notifications are turned on so you never miss a video from me if you want to continue supporting my little home right here on this channel make sure to continue watching and subscribing if you haven't Colleen is a digital artist and content creator on youtube where she posts digital art tutorials and her roasting series where she roasts fan submitted art and gives them advice to correct them just to note here she liquefies and edits all art or like so this scenario today was not the first time she's done it nor going to be the last it's a part of her shtick she uploaded her first currently public youtube video in 2019 and has amassed over 2 million subscribers on youtube nearly 500k on instagram and has a merch line but like i said i'm really not familiar with kudin which is why i'm only specifically talking about this meta and not in a commentary on her entire character because i i don't know it just for some identification i am black i am blackity black 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 i do have a black pass which means i am permitted to give my opinions on black matters as you can tell by my black id i am a black person this video is going to talk a lot about race um, and that can be a very serious topic and serious vibe but i'm saying this with giggles so can we all just giggle and like breathe in and breathe out <sighs> why we're making this line is that we have to make sure that everything below the nose doesn't exceed this line so the lips and the chin shouldn't exceed this line no matter how juicy and big his lips are be real she looking kind of goofy so let me give you some hashtag valid criticism as a general rule just don't let the chin exceed the nose imagine that this is the skull and this is where the eye should be a bit closer to the side it helps to draw a diagonal line like this to serve as a guide and now i'm simply gonna liquefy and then the eyebrows just copy paste and there we go gasify before and after um yikes when i first saw the titles of people calling her racist and all of that type of stuff all of these allegations at first i was thinking okay let me just be objective and go into this with an open mind maybe it might be a case of people just witch hunting because you know whenever a content creator gets hated everybody just like pounds on different kinds of like hate just to villainize them even more so i i was going into it with an open mind like maybe people are just over exaggerating but wow when i first watched the clip my eyes just like she changed races you transformed a black lady into a western european with a tan Busisewe into britney i know all black features are not the same but one of the perks of growing up and living in africa is being able to see the diversity of black people so i know there are a lot of people that look like the after however you can't miss the fact that it kind of looks like she pressed the unblackify button she called the previous skull structure gorilla looking very unfortunate wording there are two points specifically that i want to speak about in colleen's apology she mentioned that although her content revolves around offensively roasting people's art she would never directly aim to insult a specific gender or race and i tend to try and give people the benefit of the doubt in these kind of situations 
Because I know that online culture is rampant with herd mentality that as soon as someone is getting hated on, everybody's ready to shoot daggers without actually like thinking critically. Speaking of the apology, I don't know if Apple knew how monumental their notes app would be in pop culture. Like the format of the notes app apology is something to be studied because the aesthetic. Rumble, this is the fifth time you've overslept and come in late. You need to stop doing that. Ah, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I really don't understand what's wrong with me nowadays. Don't tell that to me. Tell that to the big boss. He's waiting for you. Hey, boss. Rumble, do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, one second. Oh, son, don't worry. Um, it'll be good. Don't hello. worry. You hello. Just, just I'm your boss, and I'm just speaking to you wait. right now. Uh, I'm your almost boss, done. Uh -huh. and, uh, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And done. Here you go. You're fired. So, yeah, she never really intended to hurt anyone as per her apologies. But that's the sucky thing about life is that our intention and the perception from others rarely match each other. Context. As you may or may not know, we come in different shapes and sizes. Rectangle or triangle, even octagon. And that means that our body structures and compositions vary person to person and it's dependent on so many different factors. Genetics or pre-existing medical conditions, even geographical locations, so where you're from. It all plays a huge influence into our body structures and compositions. That being said, having principles of drawing people can be helpful until it's not helpful. In the video, Colleen describes how to draw a face with proper and correct proportions and then compares it to an incorrectly proportionate face calls it gorilla looking and this part is problematic because it assumes that there is only one correct facial proportion that there's only one correct way of being and also it's the fact that it's the terms of correct and incorrect in school currently one of the things we've been talking about is universality and the problem of universal truth that there is no such thing because universality claims that everything should operate under one system and it should abide by one guideline but that just disregards the fact that there are so many different realities and there's so many different representations of people our drawing principles sometimes provide the same thing although to an extent i do use like drawing principles such as like how to like block out shapes and block out figures to draw them um to learn how to draw figures because a lot of them are very helpful i learned how to figure draw with those kind of principles but then there comes a point where you have to stand back and see where your real human deviates from those drawing principles and then start to draw from observation from references of real people if we have already established that people's body structures can differ per different regions and geographical locations who are the people that have been modeled off of to create these drawing principles and guidelines and these correct faces um so whilst i use these guidelines i don't let the guidelines dictate the face i let the face dictate the guidelines here i feel like in this video Colleen let the guideline dictate the face and didn't really look at seeing how that face anatomically is correct still actually it's curated in a specific way we can't be using it just point blank to everybody without altering it to make sense fit everybody into one mold and act as if it could operate in that one way. I feel like in this instant, Colleen made the guideline dictate the face, a face that she then called incorrect and said that it was gorilla looking. This is where you lost me. Like I said earlier, unfortunately, intention does not always match perception. Perception happens in the minds of the people that are seeing what you're putting out and you can't control that. And they are coming at it with contexts, their own context and global context. Like everything we do, everything we say sits in context and you can't really control that unfortunately and it's something i also had to learn and i'm still learning like none of this i'm saying is something i've perfected at all and even though colleen said she didn't intend to come off racist the context is just not in her favor liquefying a black woman's face and yes she does that to all different cultures so of, like all different people like it's not the first scenario she's done that it's a part of her shtick however the features that she liquefies and she pushes back are the features that that black people have been made fun of, ridiculed, oppressed for big lips. 
the structure of the face because there are people who have that face where our jaws protrude forward in front of our noses and that's just how people exist so many of us actually it's altering the appearance and then calling her previous existing appearance as gorilla looking which is an insult that is like even if you don't know racism you know that that's a racist remark that's standard black racism like one-on-one all of that is situated in context i was telling you that this has been happening for a while and even though we haven't intended to because it's so ingrained in society racism it's hard to ignore that her intention is altered because unfortunately people are going to make those links because they are so evident it's not new i don't believe in faulting the people that saw these correlations and spoke out about it if people were reaching i would have honestly not made this video and i would have been like ah guys cut it out people do reach like people jump hurdles swim underwater fly in the sky throw javelins sprint run up the mountain run down the mountain just to like reach and villainize someone but i'm making this video because context perception it was there it's unfortunate it was there whether intentional or not it's like a catch-22 because you can't predict anything but you can be mindful and i think in this situation mindfulness should have come into key y'all we are tired i remember being a little kid growing up and like pursing my lips so doing this to see how i'd look like with pretty girl lips i remember being so excited to relax my hair or give it a perm i don't know what you call it so that it's like lanky and long like the pretty white girl hair i remember looking at all of the white girls in my primary school with their interesting blue colored eyes or green colored eyes and then hating why my eyes were just black voids and they still are there's nothing happening and my experience is far from exclusive a lot of black girls grew up believing that they would never be the pretty girl we physically can't like i can't change my eye color unless i get contacts my hair even though i relax it like day in day out it's gonna go back to being an afro because that's what it naturally is and my lips bro wagwan it's here to stay it's a hard thing to grow up with being in a world that is not built for you or built to cater to you or built thinking of you when i say we are tired is because we are tired stuff like this happens all the time and i'm only 21 and i sound like i'm 65 there are these drawing principles which kind of forget different head shapes exist different bodies exist and it's not even just for black people it's for literally every single region in the world every single race ethnicity that all of these principles or a lot of them if i can put it that way have always been exclusive from black girls Ugh. I've been dying to get into this club. Yeah, me too. I've been seeing this all over online. Oh, uh, ladies, I can't let you in. Why? We've been waiting forever. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Um, as I can see, your lips stick out further than your noses. So you can't come in. I'm sorry, what? Your nose, like your your nose has to stick out further than your mouth. It has to be the most pointiest part of your face but it isn't so you have to be now so with that being said if you ever learn to draw and depict humans use the guidelines i actually don't mind them i know like some people don't like to go through that way but use it as a guideline don't let it dictate the faces that you draw these guidelines were modeled off of a very specific kind of person and a lot of times that might not be you I need to go feed my garden and water my cat so i'm going to end this off here and once again please do not send any hate and let me know your guys' thought on the situation whether you guys do follow any drawing guidelines if there is also any other video topics that you would like me to do in the future leave it down below all my socials down below i have them linked to my art account and my personal account thank you so much for watching if you like the video like if you like me subscribe comment down below all that fun jazz and until then i like to be educated but I'm so frustrated